Okay, today we'll be comparing a couple of Walmart Supertech oil filters. On my left, this newer version, ST3980, against this 18-year-old version on my right, also an ST3980. And I got this 18-year-old Supertech oil filter from one of you guys. Yep, a very generous viewer whose name is Gary Fraser from South Carolina sent me this oil filter. Thanks, Gary. And today we'll go back in time and see if this 18-year-old Supertech was made better than the Supertechs made today. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta glue the silicone the nice and tight. Get your inner ear. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the newer Supertech. Let's start with the box. Protection up to 10,000 miles. Made in USA. You look over here. 99% efficiency rating. And that's based on removing particles greater than 30 microns. Okay, let's open her up and see what she looks like. Date code 020818EN. Product of USA. This is a sticker. She has eight inlet holes. It's a nitro rubber gasket, which comes off real easy. And we got a good amount of threads there. There's probably about four grooves there. Nylon cage. And I see some white down there around the edges. It's probably got felt end caps. And that doesn't look to be a bypass valve. I don't think this filter has a bypass valve. Okay, let's look at the 18-year-old Supertech. And you guys can just freeze your uh, video and look at these pictures on the box. You might find it interesting. I don't know. There's a nice little picture here. Plated steel center tube. Synthetic fiber enhanced filter media. Heavy gauge steel base plate. All right, let's open her up, see what she looks like. And the date code, 062904. That would be 2004. Product of Mexico. This one also has a sticker. Eight inlet holes, with one being a little bit larger than the rest. And that looks to be a nitro rubber any drain back valve also has about four th grooves there I'd say about four and you can see the center core is metal with holes and also down below that that don't look to be a bypass valve and nitro rubber gasket which is on you pretty good yeah, it's on there good. Hmm. We'll compare this one to the newer one. This one looks thicker, though. I ain't going to get that on right away, so I'm going to leave it. But, uh, yeah, let's look at these guys. You can tell the 18-year-old one's about, about a half inch bigger, taller. Uh, cut these guys open and... um. See what these filters look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. And I just wanted to point this out. I forgot to earlier. It says, tests conducted by Champion Laboratories. So I'm assuming that these were made by Champion Lab. Okay, just wanted to point that out. All right, let's get their weights. The new Supertech is 226 grams. The old one is 286 grams. The base plates. 109 grams for the new Supertech. 117 grams for the old Supertech. Let's check out these gaskets. Okay, here's the new one on my right. 
the old one on the left. You can see the size difference there. And let's check out these base plates. I think the new Super Tech has a little, probably one more extra groove there for, for the threads. They almost way identical though. It's hard to tell it's the way the way it's uh made, but they're totally two different kind of base plates. You got 13 holes right here. Which is kind of a nice design. I mean, I don't know which one would give you a better oil flow, but probably equal out. They're both fine base plates. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. All right. And yeah, let's look at the anti-drain back valves. We've got nitro rubber for both of them. Different sizes. This is how the one fits on the old one. Fits on there nicely. And the new one. Covers it up. This one, you know, this one's pretty big, covers up pretty good. Okay, now the filter element. The new SuperTech weighs 35 grams. And the old SuperTech weighs 87 grams. So let's look at the old one here. I counted 58 pleats. You got a little bit of excess glue on here. And this has got, this looks like an inside seam, so I just count this as one pleat. And the box says, synthetic enhanced filter media, 98% single pass, 99% multi-pass. At what microns, 30? I don't know. But metal end caps. And let's look at the new SuperTech. Here's a glued seam right here. And I counted... 62 pleats. You got the felt end caps. You know, felt end caps, synthetic caps, whatever you want to call them. They're, you know, they're, they're, I just call them felt. That's what they kind of look like. And got a little bit of a space there. Otherwise, both of them are, are pretty good. You can see the nylon cage. I mean, as far as pleats go, there's space pretty good. And this one got a micron rating of 99% particles above 30 microns and the filter media is made out of natural and synthetic fibers okay let's look at what they got for a stamped leaf spring <laughs> I forgot it's right here and see no bypass valve no bypass valve on this one This one has a little stamp leaf spring. But there's no bypass valve either, so it goes like that. What do these guys weigh anyways? We got six grams for that. The old Super Tech. And six grams for that one. Hmm. Well, it looks like it would have weighed more. Lighter material. Well, they both weigh the same. Okay, and the cans. The new Super Tech weighs 65 grams. The old Super Tech weighs 69 grams. And let's get their thicknesses. Okay. You know, point. Four one millimeters on the new SuperTech. I think they're pretty identical. Let me see. Yeah, 0. 0.41 millimeters for the the old SuperTech. Yeah, pretty identical. They're 0. 0.4 to 0. 0.5 is about average that I usually get. They feel about average. And filter medias. Let's uh, measure these guys. The new Super Tech is right there. 
3.47 inches wide. And the old Super Tech is a little narrower. Let me get a better. 3.22 inches wide because of the end caps. Yeah, see, we're losing, losing a little bit of filtration there with the end caps. I'm going to say they're pretty equal. What do you guys think? Well, I'll cut these guys open and stretch them out and uh, be right back. Okay, so here they are stretched out. And the new SuperTech is 45 inches long. And the old SuperTech is 55 inches long. Okay, let's check out the thickness. I got O here for old. Right there. 0.89 millimeters thick. And I got N for new. 0.95 millimeters thick. The new one's a little bit thicker. Let's take a look at them up close. Yeah, you can see it looks a little thicker. Okay, let's look at the rest of the filter. So these filters are pretty much different. <laughs> I mean, the cores... I gotta say that you know these holes they should have put more holes here this don't look like there's enough holes the new super tech looks like it have a way better oil oil flow yeah this they're, they're small holes and there's not many of them so that's I don't like that design too much but you know you know you had the felt end caps on this one you got metal end caps that's preference which filter is better? You got more filter media with the old one. I'm not a fan of the felt end caps, but um, these these were on pretty good. I mean, I had a hard time getting these off. You can tell. I, most of the time they just they just peel off like nothing, but this time they were they were on there really good. They glued them glued them on real good. So what do you guys think? Think the old one's better or the new one's better? And again, I want to thank Gary for sending me this oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The new SuperTech Media weighs 23 grams. The old SuperTech Media weighs 19 grams.